I consider. The lady that God might put in your heart to marry, people might come and spoil your heart about her. Say, ah! Just like, she's terrible. The family is poor. You know what? Consider. When you consider, you will be taken beyond the suggestions of men. And you will be taken to a point where you are for the Holy Ghost is only it. I think I told you about my, my wife on our wedding, they were finished wedding. One of our people from the village said, hey, if I told him, they never allow me. That was, meanwhile, the reason why I went to meet them was to thank them for coming. That was the feedback. As if I invited them. My mother said I should release money. She'll bring her relatives, her, bring people. So I didn't invite them personally. I just saw them. And that was the feedback that I got. Hallelujah. When you consider, you go beyond the impute of them. And many years, when they found out that there was peace in my home, I never sent to any of them for wisdom. They said, we, we knew, we knew you. We knew. The way you are so quiet, so meek, we knew you will succeed. Don't ever follow a man. They will change their mouth to change. They will say, ah, we, this thing you are saying, we said, we don't remember. Meanwhile, you are you kicking yourself. Married, and all the ways are gone. It's time to inquire. There is a wisdom that you lack. There is an understanding that will come to you. John chapter 9, from verse 1 to 3. Sorry, I have, this is not my lecture for the night. I just wanted us to pass through this place. But it has taken up all the time. John chapter 9, verse 1 to 3. And Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, this is inquire. Master, who did sin this man or his parents that he was born blind? That's inquiry. Now, it means the apostles had a little knowledge. In the lectures that Jesus gave them, Jesus told them that the man's sin can be the problem. Jesus told them that the man's father's sin can be the problem. So they said, right, we have a typical situation. Based on your previous lecture, who's, we know this is the work of sin. The diagnosis, the diagnosis was what? Sin. It, nothing else but what? So who, who sinned? Now this one was born so. Was it him? Where did he sin that sin that he became counted against? Him? If he was born in this condition. Or is it? This man. Please inquire. What did Jesus answer? Jesus answered, neither this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. It means Jesus deliberately refused to give him eyes in the studio so that Jesus can come in time to give him eyes. Understand? When you seek, there are many things that are stagnant, they are not moving. Wise men conduct in fire. Everyone here desiring marriage and it is seeming to be an impossibility. Can you go on a diet of inquiry? When that understanding came that it was not because of sin, but God deliberately allowed it so that he can show forth his glory. I hope you know the prayer point I said it. It is thanksgiving. This is moving from knowledge to understanding. Understanding is, comes when we subject ourselves to inquiry. So one of the ways of the wise is what? Have you seen a, a, something happening in your life and it's cyclical? It goes, it comes back, goes, it comes back. It is a call for what? It means that it's a mystery behind it that the Lord will have to unravel. Before I close, I want to tell us how to inquire from God. Inquire from God by the laws of spiritual intelligence. The first law of spiritual intelligence is this God does not speak much. God only answers much. God does not want to speak. He only answers. I tell you this from wealth of experience. So it is only those that ask God questions that initiate the conversation that can get God to talk. If you want to wait for God to talk, you will wait for long. He answers more, but he doesn't speak. So in your work with God, you will notice you'll be praying, you'll be praying, then you will just talk. That talk is answered. And there are few times where you can be lying on the bed and he comes to you, then he speaks. So if you check the ratio of the time he speaks without inquiry and the time he responds to inquiries, you will see he doesn't speak much, but he answers much. So based on the first law of spiritual intelligence, huh? Make sure you are always asking. You see those guys? The Bible never told us how long they asked. Who said that this man was born? I say it to him for 21 days. Not in tongues. Tell him in English. Who said? What was it? What happened? Nobody can exceed 64 years. What is the problem? For 21 days, don't miss it. Ask him. You'll just be sleeping one night. And then you'll walk into your dream. Like a man, and take you to an ancient apparatus. <laughs> God does not speak. God only what? Second law of spiritual intelligence 
the air playing of God's activities is called the human heart. The human heart. The human heart is the theater of God's displays. Those of you that still remember the diagram I drew over, the secret and the one parts. The heart is the theater for God's display. So since we know that the heart is the theater for God's displays, and God is spirit, are you with me? It's not man, it's spirit. And God is not on your head, God is in your heart. If God is spirit, the theater of his displays is your heart. Expect him to be manifesting. Where? Listen, because he's spirit, he will not operate like a man, he will operate like a spirit. The language of spirit is one, knowings. Two, signs. Three, sights. Sights. can give you a quick, quick sight. You know it's not your eyes that saw that. Quick sight. Let's start again with the list. Number one, knowings. You just, you know something, you don't know how you know it. But you know you know it. It's spiritual. Second, it's a sign. When you lose your peace, has it ever happened to you before? A sign is not an intelligent communication. So when you lose your peace, it's expected that you speak in tongues for 45 minutes so that you will not know what you are losing. Exactly. And then when there is full, fullness of joy, you wake up with a song. It's a sign of spiritual health. It means something happened while you slept. Pray for in tongues for 45 minutes, you find out what happened. Because a man without knowledge, for a man to be without knowledge is not good. That's what the Bible says. So there's a reason why your spirit is rejoicing. That rejoicing is not because of your pocket, because of something that happened this week. And Jesus rejoiced in the spirit. It was not his making. It was the spirit of God in him that began to rejoice. And then Jesus said, Father, I thank you because you have not revealed these things to the world. That was why the spirit was in Jesus decoded it. Have you ever had a, a, a time you just had this strange peace? You cannot tell huh? that, That's not complete communication. We need for five minutes of talk to know why. Remember, the theater is where? Many of you wait for spectacular things to see rainbow. Ooh, it might happen two times in your lifetime. You are waiting to see lightning. You will be old at 94. <laughs> because that's exceptional. But I'm telling you what happens every day. This is supernatural. Supernatural happens within the privacy of your heart. But it's a testimony of the position of God about an issue. And nothing can change it. Because the Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall. That thing that he has shown you is established. No matter, even though there's Satan, there's, there's, there's Aleko. Huh? If you have seen it in God, it's established. It will come to pass if you wait long enough. Have you seen your wedding? Have you seen it? You have seen it. It means it's established. The thing now is for you to believe God until you see it manifest. When we saw the building that is going on today, and we even saw it to the paint, they call up the paint. We saw it. Those days when we say it, the people say we are mad, we are crazy. Not anymore. Hallelujah. When you pray, you see things, your heart picks things. Not because you are prophetic. Eh? Not because you are a prophet, but because that's the God is spirit. And his theater is your heart. Every one of us, if you begin to enter into God, your sight will be activated. It's a privilege for all his saints. Don't come and dazzle us that you receive word of knowledge. That's what all of us do. And we do it for free. It's not a big thing. In, a, in, an, in an accurate apostolic assembly, it's not something for championship. Everybody has a measure of those dimensions. It's just that the prophets have it more. Because their, their calling is along the line of revelation. But everybody can judge. Everybody can know if you are talking from God. You know, I, I got... You will, if, those of you in the spirit know that what I did before I started teaching was not anger. It was the spirit. You can judge it. If it's issue of anger. Mm. God has sent us. Alright. I don't even get angry on the ground. Talk more of me. You say you are getting angry. Lose your. Mm. Open it. Yeah. That spirit that disrupts the service must be judged. And the spirit inside judged it. Jealousy. Theater as well. Then we have, we have, yeah, number one is what? No, two is what? A sign, you can lose your peace here. The third one is what? A sight, it gives you a quick vision. And there are three kinds of visions. Open vision, you'll be sitting like this. And it's as if this flash of a camera comes on your face, then you see something. Very faint, but it's, it's short. Then a trance, something like sleep will come on you. Then you fall into sleep for two minutes and see something. That's a trance. In the trance, the anointing on you blots out your physical senses so that your spiritual senses can take a snapshot. Snap then you have a dream, which is a night vision. Most of you know what dreams are. These are the basic ways that the Lord, walking in the theater of your heart, will bring you disclosures to take you outside of the box and to show you His will. Remember, God does not speak with you. God only was. 
And if you keep asking, he will answer. Ask for 21 days. That's the example of Daniel. Eh? Say it for 21 days. Say it every day. Why is it that people are poor in my family? For 21 days. Bread talks, bread talks. Then you shut down. You go and sleep. That's the last prayer you pray before you sleep for 21 days. On the 14th day, you walk into your, your dream. 17 day, you can just be praying like this and you just begin to see pictures. On the 15th day, the young man that is coming to show you that he so love you. You are just feel inside of your spirit. And you know that this is not the man. A knowing of revelation has popped up. No believer should walk around blind. You can escape mistakes that be devil people, that tie people down. You can escape traps. You can escape angels. If we build on the voice of the Lord, we must be always pray. It's when we are moved to pray that we give the Lord an occasion to give us a feedback that will move us forward and reach the peak of ministry based on my understanding. And I went to pray and I lifted up my voice. I said, what else do I need to do to move to the next phase? And I stayed on that for seven days. And on the seventh day, then the Lord came to me and said, if you say you are a giant, then take giant steps. The first giant steps I was, step I was confronted with was my wife's school. I said, nine million. I thought I could just, it was a lot of money. So I was speaking bold with the engineer. So okay, we'll put something here, we'll put something. Yeah, when they started making the foundation and pouring cement, I said, somebody must have robbed me. Because the nine million did not bring the building out of the ground. Those words came back to my ears again. If you say you are a child. So at that time, God was waiting for me to, to believe in what I say about myself. What do you say? Yes, I believe I'm a child. Then take. Yes. Then I went back to God. But you were the one that said that you should start building. He said, yes. I said, you should start building. Not with your resources. See what your resources could do. You think when I say build, I was talking about you. What can you do? Every giant understands that without God, man is nothing. Then I killed into God's strength. And he built that building before my eyes. I remember the first time I climbed the, the, the second floor. And I told him, I'm standing on you now. Because this is not me, this is you. The breeze, the breeze came. The, you know, the voice of the Lord came in the physical breeze. And it began to give me more insight. So when the time came, uh, when the uh, quantities of air came up with the embassy project, I said, we need so, so, and so million. I said, let's go for it. Because I've been inoculated. Yes, the process of building that school was not about this school. It was about me being built up. I was too small. I was a small man in a big body. And God wanted to make me a big man in a small body. The way... I found it. It's that man without God is what? It's not. Please preach to your neighbor for me. Say, man without God is nothing. So my prayer point changed when I discovered that that was spiritual knowledge. The next big step was Festival of Glory. When we did the calculation, the committee was very articulate. I knew again that we cannot fund it. And I went back. I said, I hope you know 15 years ago you came and said, we will do a crusade called Festival of Glory. said, yes. But you know what is in the account. He said, you are making the same mistake. Who told you that your account can help? Because of your own belief, don't take offering in that meeting. That's what. So I came to the committee, but I didn't tell them that the Lord said we should not take offering. I said, they have not paid salaries for 11 months. So it will be unthinkable for us to say we are taking offering. And I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I didn't know that I was paying for my own belief. Because when we didn't take offering and we agreed as a team, that's when the money started. At first, we say we spent 5.6 million. That's thinkable, man. It's, it's, it's a sacrilege. And I saw the way of giant steps. It's not the steps of man, or the abilities of man, or the strength of a man. But allowing God to lead the way. Then I now trusted God absolutely. Then he showed me that it's not a man. He doesn't need the ox, the strength of an ox, or the legs of a man. Oh, when I understood this, he now said, I will make a way in the way that he's talking about. The way that he's talking about. So I will make a way in this way. That, and I will cause rivers to flow in this desert. I will bring nations to your city. This will become a place of pilgrimage. Many from the nations of the world will come to learn my ways in the wilderness of this land. And the way that I will make will be a sign to all nations. I could believe that because I've seen him carry out his mighty feet. The next giant step we want to take is to start a cable television. When we went to the company and said, okay, um, what services do you offer? They said, all right, this is the first bundle. The first bundle will cover Africa. Second bundle is this, this, no, this dollars to cover Africa, little Europe. Third bundle, which is the highest bundle. How many, this, this, this dollars is to cover the whole of Africa. So parts of the Middle East, so parts of Asia. I said, no, stop here. That's the one. Meanwhile, when I was telling the person, we don't have any dollar. But you know, I've, I've been there before. I've been there, I've been there. Before this year comes around, you'll be there. 
When your face, your face will, will be in Tunisia. They will see your face. In the book of Acts, the apostles God used normal, natural people to do extraordinary things. That is the story of revival. Every time. Nameless people. Surrender to God. And God shows them how limited their humanity is. And shows them how powerful his divinity is. When men bow and allow God the right of passage, people in the little world will become a thousand. The small one will become a strong nation. And the least among them will become as strong as David. Some things it is not prayer. There's another type of prayer you need to enter into some things. Because having applied all the principles, it will not work. And what you do, there are two words there. Let's see, seek and search, which means inquire. Let me show you some examples of inquiry in the Bible. When we charge young people, what do we say? Build on the forest. Oh God. If you got that, then we can pray. Sorry, I took uh, 25 more minutes. It took 25 more minutes. The reason why I took it is because I want us to be in order. I will not say yes until I've gone there. 21 nights before I sleep, I say, Great one! You know, we have a challenge. It is not given unto us to direct our steps. Can you come to our aid? This is the matter. This is the matter. I will sleep off. On the fourth day, you will see a man. Before I wake up in the morning, that man normally comes. And he comes through my right hand side to the bed. And he will speak to me. And when I wake up, it's so clear. But it was not a physical man. That's how he spoke to me. He came and said, I came to give you your visit. Meanwhile, I made a mistake the way I feel it. The time I feel this well, they didn't give me. And I feel it wrong. So I came to give you a visit. By the way, that's the same man that came and said, oh, I will put you in the The man comes around 4 a.m. I will be seeing him with his eye, this eye like this. Then when I wake up, yesterday the man came up. And the name he spoke, I told my wife, I said, this guy of name. Let me know before two weeks, we find out why he spoke the name three times. Just sitting by the side of my name. Who told you that you are a sheep without shepherd? Your chef had his spirit, so he will come to your heart. That's where his data is. Don't expect lightning. Don't expect the encounter that Paul had in Damascus where it's all light. You might only see that once in your life. But on your heart, it's a light there every single day. If you can feel what I, I, I'm saying, you can Oh my God. You see, he, he has come again. <laughs> come and see me. And he come back to Korea. That will rise. It's from the, your heart. He will point his hands. It's from your heart. He will show the sign. God does not speak much, but he answers much.
name of Jesus. Your heart. That's why I say keep your heart with all diligence. There are issues that are tied to that platform. Oh my God. Can we pray and say, Lord, make me attentive to my heart. Make me attentive. Make me attentive. Make me attentive to my heart. In the name of Jesus. attentive there are things going on right there things brooding make me attentive to my heart in the name of Jesus finally Finally, if you're going to make the most of the Lord's presence on your heart, your spirit must be consistent. See, Daniel was there for 21 days. Can you ask God for a consistent spirit that will insist every night, every night I will stand before him. Every night I will cry, I will make a petition that your spirit will be consistent. That your spirit will be consistent. That your spirit will be consistent. Your spirit will be consistent. Thank you for watching this message all the way to the end. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to speed on power-packed messages from the Spirit of God. Liking and subscribing to this channel will also help this message spread to more people and which will increase the chances of breaking strongholds in the life of a lot of people all around the world. So you see why it is very important to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification. God bless you. Watch the videos displayed on your screen right now because they will greatly impact your life positively. God bless you.